Once upon a time, in a small village nestled among rolling green hills, there was a boy named Liam. With hair the color of wheat and eyes as lively as the summer sky, Liam was the very image of joy. He loved to play, run, and explore every nook of the world that stretched out before him. Yet amidst his endless curiosity, Liam carried an invisible burden, a mind always wandering to tomorrow, worried about an uncertain future. On a sunny day while Liam was traversing the edge of the forest, he encountered a wise-looking old man. The elder, with his snow-white beard and eyes that seemed to hold ancient secrets, sat under the welcoming shade of a centuries-old tree, leafing through the yellowed pages of a book that appeared as old as time itself. Hello, young adventurer, the old man said with a smile that lit up his wrinkled face. Why do you carry such haste in your steps? I want to know everything, experience everything, Liam exclaimed, his chest puffed with determination. There's so much to see and do, the old man nodded, closing his book with a gentle gesture. Yes, there is a whole world out there, but if your eyes are always fixed on the horizon, you miss the magic that surrounds you here and now. Confused, Liam furrowed his brow. What do you mean? Let me tell you a story, the old man proposed, and Liam, driven by curiosity, sat beside him, the fresh grass caressing his legs. Once there was a butterfly, the old man began, his voice as captivating as the wind in the leaves. It was the most beautiful of all, with wings that captured the rainbow. It flew from flower to flower, but never lingered. Liam interrupted. Why was it in such a hurry? Because it believed that somewhere there was a perfect flower, one that surpassed all others in beauty and sweetness. And so, in its ceaseless quest, it never truly savored the nectar of any of them. Until one day, exhausted, it realized it had missed the chance to appreciate each unique flower along its path. Reflecting on the story, Liam murmured, so it missed out on all the fun because it was always looking for something better? Exactly, the old man confirmed. Time is a river that flows without end. If we do not dive into its waters, we spend our entire lives on the bank, watching its current. Liam looked around, truly seeing the world for the first time. Birds sang melodies of freedom. The sun caressed his skin with gentle warmth, and a genuine smile blossomed on his lips. This moment, it's incredible, he whispered. The old man smiled, pleased. Remember, Liam, the present is the only time we truly possess. It is a precious gift, hence its name. But living in the now doesn't mean abandoning prudence. It means embracing life with ethics and responsibility, remembering that our happiness should not come at the cost of others. From that day on, Liam committed to fully living each moment. He continued to play, to run, and to explore. But now he reveled in the small wonders, the whisper of the wind, the spectacle of colors at dusk, the feel of the earth under his bare feet. Liam and the old man became inseparable. The elder taught him much, but the most valuable lesson was to honor time and embrace the present. And with that, Liam found a happiness and productivity he had never known before. And so Liam learned to live each day with joy and gratitude, to cherish the ephemeral beauty of each moment, for it is the time that never returns. He kept the wise old man's words in his heart and shared them with everyone in the village. Together, they learned to slow down and celebrate the wonderful world around them. The village blossomed into a place of laughter and contentment. Children played without hurry, Adults worked with peace in their hearts, and everyone discovered joy in the simple moments of life. And whenever Liam spotted a butterfly, he smiled, remembering the precious lesson about the value of time and the beauty of living in the present moment.